Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about what I believe is one of the most potent superfoods you can consume. It's actually beef liver. Okay. Before you click off, just hear me out. Um, because really the key is the quality that you get. You're not going to go down to the local grocery store and get liver. I don't recommend that because you don't know how that animal has been processed. So there's a company I'm going to recommend called US Wellness Meats. Now, I'm not affiliated. I don't get a commission or anything like that, but I just, I think they're a really good company because they're uh, grass fed, grass finished. Okay. And they have some great products. One is a uh, beef liver worst. Okay. Check this out. Beef liver, beef heart, beef kidney, sea salt, spices, onion powder. Now, honestly, I don't like liver. Okay. I was forced to eat liver as a child. I don't like it. I will consume some of it. I consume a little bit of it, you know, maybe once a week, but if you're looking for hands down the most potent nutrient dense product, this is it. Check this out. Load, loaded with B12. Okay. B12 is for energy. It's for uh, strengthening your blood. Uh, iron. Uh, the active uh, bioavailable form of iron. So the iron from vegetables compared to the iron from liver is completely different. So this is some serious blood builder, especially if you're female and you're anemic or around your cycle, this is what you'd want to consume. It has amazing amounts of vitamin A. The vitamin A in this product is, um, goes right in like a rocket ship. Now there's some concerns with some people saying that well, you don't want to consume organ meats because it's, it's going to give you too much vitamin A. It's going to be very toxic to you. Well, that's not true. If you look those studies up, those studies were done with um, synthetic vitamin A. Okay. It's toxic. But there is a truth about consuming uh, liver from a polar bear or from a sea lion, for example. The vitamin A in that is so off the charts that that can be very deadly toxic. Okay, so you, but we're not we're talking about a cow. We're not talking about uh, a polar bear. But the reason why a polar bear needs so much vitamin A is to be able to see in this blinding snow. Uh, so uh, vitamin A is essential for vision. Then you have vitamin E. I mean, all the fat soluble vitamins. Vitamin E is great for the heart. It's good for uh, a woman going through menopause because y your vitamin E drops so low, uh, this will put it right back in. Vitamin D, vitamin K2 to extract the excessive calcium that builds up in the arteries and that builds up in the joints. It makes your bones solid. Great folic acid, selenium, which is good for detoxification. It's a trace mineral that's really good for the body. Uh, great essential fatty acids, uh, omega-3, EPA and DHA, okay, in, in a good ratio. Tons of potassium, copper, coenzyme Q10, vitamin C, zinc, folic acid. You tell me a food that can compare with this in nutrients. I want to know. Type it down below. There is no food that has the amount of nutrients that uh, liver has. So it will give you strength, endurance, energy. You don't need much. Get a, take a little bit, maybe once or twice a week on a keto plan. It's awesome. Well, you don't like vegetables? Here's another solution right here. So the thing you need to know about the liver is that it's the location of where the body neutralizes toxins, not necessarily where it stores the toxins. The toxins are mainly stored in the fat cells. Now, if you have a fatty liver, that's a whole different situation. But the point is that when you consume liver, there's not near as many toxins in there if it's from a quality source as if you're consuming actual fat. So the liver is where you neutralize the toxins. It doesn't store toxins. It actually stores nutrients. That's what it does. So give it a try and see if it actually improves your health. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.